Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Morius Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS. We are back again and it's a bit later than usual. We've got a crystal clear sky, it looks like. I wonder if we're going to have any meteor showers. It, I, I kind of feel like a sky this clear, we should see some shooting stars, but I don't know, maybe not. Uh, we do have a piece of mail because we do, of course, have a chess piece that we ordered yesterday. Um, so we need to go ahead and customize this. Uh, Timothy Nook. Oh, uh, Maury, thank you for ordering from our store's catalog. Enclosed is your requested pawn. Um, Timothy and Thomas Nook. What? Since when have they used their long names? That is adorable. There we go. So we've got our chess piece here. Okay, so I think before we do anything, we're going to go ahead and get Cyrus to customize that because we do have some in our basement. Um, we do have two bishops and now this one, we've already got one in there, we have to order this one as a second one. So we're going to go ahead and customize that. But basically today is going to be super, super chilled. And we're going to head to the island, the island resort, because we want to catch a bunch of sharks and a bunch of bugs. Oh no! What? How many days in a row have we had bad luck now? Falling over again. So like two days in a row, that's, that's just not good. Hello, it is me. Oh, hello there. Welcome. Um, yeah, so we want to give Cyrus this um, chess piece. Yo, Maury, what can I do for you, Squirt? I have a project for you. Uh, we've already got a black one, so we need a white one now because we want to get both sides of the chess, uh, chess board. And I think the chessboard rug is like the carpet you can get. You have to get from Sahara. So next time we see Sahara, we're definitely going to have to get them to design us some carpets. Or, or lay us some carpet. I don't know if Sahara actually designs them. but uh, I'll do it for 110 bells. Sounds fair to you? Yes, please. That sounds pretty fair. Okay, then time to decide how you want the piece uh, color of this pawn to change. My recommendation. Oh, let me think for a mo. What about this? Yeah, we've already got the black one, so we need the white one. Um, sure, got it. All right, Squirt. Uh, you all right with me going ahead with the project? Yes, please. Uh, well then, I'll need the item you want to customize. Hand it over. There we go. You take good care of it. All right, then leave the rest to me. It'll be take about 30 minutes, so go kill some time and come back later. And there we go. So, oh, Cody's in here. What are you up to? Oh, I've just seen, a, just seen an item at the back there. Um, are you buying today or maybe selling? Those eyes. Don't tell me you're here just looking around. Actually, I'm looking at this. This is a sloppy closet. Oh, the sloppy closet. This item belongs to Cece from here in Moriland. The asking price is 260 bells. Uh, care to give it a loving new home? Absolutely. I'm pretty sure um, you could only get the Sloppy series from retail. Um, or maybe the police station? Maybe, but definitely you can... Well, you can't... Well, I don't think you can get them from the villagers. Or you can't buy them from Tom Nooks. And that's for sure. So I think retail is probably the only place you can get them. So we'll definitely take that. But yes, today we're going to focus and have a little bit of a relaxing journey and just catch some fish because we need to earn some money. Um, thank you, Reese. Come again. Basically, we've got so much debt. We need to expand all of our rooms, really. Um, oh, wait. We've got some Meow Coupons. Probably from the Desert Island Escape game we played yesterday. Uh, Desert Island Escape bonus. Two Meow Coupons. Excellent. We're going to need to invite some new villagers to our campground at some point. Because uh, we haven't really... We don't really get a chance to visit the campground as much as we like. Um, hey, Jay. Oh, look! There's the lighthouse! We don't often get to see the lighthouse at night time. Because we normally play pretty early in the day. Uh, so it's quite nice to see that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yes, but we're going to go ahead to Capin now. If we could get there! <laughs> Keep falling over! What is this? Why do we have so much bad luck? Um, we're going to have to remember there's a fossil there. We'll get that maybe later. Um, okay, so let's... We'll, yeah, we'll start. We'll deal with capping first. Uh, we haven't got anything in our pockets, have we? Oh, just our sloppy item that we'll put in our mail there to hide that. 
Uh, we'll go to the tropical island or the island resort and see how many fish, hopefully sharks and things like that, that we can catch to earn lots of bells. We've got to try and farm them, which is why we're playing late at night. So uh, it makes a bit of a change as well, but it will be a bit more laid back um, probably for the next 20 minutes or so. Um, say no, me wee crab cruncher. Who do you plan on spending time with on the island? Um, no one. Just us today. You can bring your effects onto the island, so I'll just be holding on to you um, for you. <laughs> I can't read Catelyn's text. It's all over the place. Don't worry yourself, none. Most of your stuff probably still be here when you get back. Yar. Uh, well then, hop onto me boat, by gar. Okay, here we go. Anchors, anchors raise, raise the anchor. I don't know what the real saying would be. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we made it to the island. Ooh, we've got lots of things. Um, ooh, a bush star, I think it is. Ah, a yellow hibiscus shoot. You'll be seeing a nice item there. I'll give it to you for five bells. Or medals even, five bells, that'd be good. Uh, pleasure doing business with you. Uh, put your souvenir in your box. Make sure it be in the box when you leave so you can take it home. <gasps> Wait, can we buy, we can buy multiple? A yellow hibiscus shoot. <gasps> no way. If only they were cedar saplings as well, because we need as many cedar saplings as we can get. Okay, so we bought two bush stars. How much does this pirate have? I think they're like 50. I think we just uh, might have messed things up for us. Oh no, 15 bells. You'll be seeing a nice item there. I'll give it to you for 15 uh, medals. Why do I keep saying bells? <laughs> Got bells on the brain. Ah, pleasure doing business with you. I'll put your new souvenir in your box. Wait, we want to wear it. Um, hopefully we can take it out. There we go. Uh, I think we're just going to be a pirate for the day. And then we can put this one back in here so we don't lose it. Um, these are all the things that we have to take home. So we don't definitely don't want to forget about that. Um, the Cabana stuff. I love it. How much is this? Maybe we could grab that as well. The Cabana wardrobe. You'll be seeing a nice item there. Oh, no. I'll give it to you for 40 medals. We're overspent. Um, but I do think we should take this opportunity to just grab a couple more little yellow hibiscus. Uh, so we'll just, that way we've got four. So that, that was three. We'll grab one more. Just because I like the idea of buying like unlimited amounts of uh, uh, hibiscus shoots here. Okay, now we've spent out of our medals. Hello. Let's go outside and do some fishing. We have previously destroyed this island in an attempt to force certain bugs to spawn. <gasps> There's a bug. Oh, we need to go and get the tools from Gy um, Lloyd the Gyroid. Hey. Welcome. I lend out lots of goods so you can have a blast all the way out here on the island. I even tell you how to use them, so don't hesitate to ask if you need some help. My special friend. Uh, we're just borrowing for the moment. I don't think we're... No, we don't, probably won't do any diving, so we just could use the net for the fishing rod. I think we'll just take the spade, because we're going to dig up these um, stumps that we've left over. There we go. So, we'll get rid of these stumps first. Because I'm pretty sure they attract certain beetles in, or kind of grass bugs. So, we, we want to get rid of those. We only want bugs to spawn on the trees. And hopefully we see lots of sharks as well. Um... I don't know if sharks are more expensive than the beetles. But whatever is the most expensive is what I hope we see the most of. <gasps> Look at all the bugs! Okay. Let's go see if we can try not to scare them away. We're not very good at catching bugs. I think we have to go up to the line. Where the shell is, there's just a line going across the sand. I think once we pass that line... Yay, we did it. So they act as kind of a marker, which is good. I called a horned elephant. Did it get lost from the herd? I don't know, but we heard... We caught it. I was going to try and think of a joke there, but... No! <laughs> we always should come to the trees from forward facing at the front. <gasps> a shark! In fact, we could probably... Drop this shovel now. We don't need no shovel. Oh. Don't want to take the bait, do you? Mm. 
This is a stubborn shark. I promise I won't sell you. Actually, I can't promise that. Because that's what we're trying to do. Unless we have to donate you, maybe. What? Why are you avoiding it? Oh no, after all that it got away. Uh, okay, at least, the, at least the bugs don't get scared away as easy as sharks. But I still miss the bugs sometimes. Creep forward a little bit. There we go. We also have to do some running around the edge of the island because sometimes there's sh little crabs in the shells. Um, thinking of- Oh no, we scared a shark away! Thinking about it, we could probably bring some shells here and kind of fill the entire edge of the island just to stop them spawning in. Okay, here's another big bug. If there's any bugs that we catch for the first time, we're going to have to keep them and donate them, of course. But I think we've, yep, the Goliath Beetle we've already got, so that's okay. Um, just scare these little fishes away. This island is really cool. I'm sure at some point we could probably come back here and maybe... What, it, what was this called? I caught a tiger beetle. Who was really hunting whom? I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my cat. Oh, I'm glad we caught that. I was just going to try and catch it to get it out of the way. Um, but yeah, we'll put the ones down there that we need to donate. Um, yeah, so we could probably come back at some point and donate this whole... Uh, donate. Oh no, it fell over again. Design this whole area. Maybe put like some... Cover it in bushes or something. It's, it's really cool because I think everything you put there stays there. So it's like another little area that you can kind of design. There we go. Oh, we scared the fish away with the net. So I wasn't sure that was going to work. Oh, it's a good way to scare them away. Excellent. Get rid of this hole. Oh, the bug just ran into the sea. There's lots of these little bugs. Go away. We want the big ones. The big juicy bugs. Okay, when there's these little crabs spawning, they stop the bugs spawning in. We'll have to remember, if we come back again, we're going to have to remember to um, bring a bunch of shells. Well, why are these bugs everywhere? It's almost tempting to just dig holes around the entire beach to stop these uh, crabs spawning in. Oh, there's a shark. And a bug. Okay, we have to go down. <gasps> so It's so hard to judge that middle tree. But at least we can try and go for this shark. At this rate, we're not going to catch many at all. But any, any that we do catch will help because we need some serious bells. Okay, I can't seem to... Wow, these are some stubborn sharks today. Nope, it's not having it. I can't seem to angle the fishing rod. Okay, this is just getting awkward. <gasps> this better be a rare shark that we can catch. No, no, I knew I was going to do it. I was concentrating so hard. I was just, I just knew I was going to mess that up. But being so quiet is so relaxing. I'm all, I almost feel bad talking. It's just super relaxing. Like, I, just, I feel bad for interrupting the music. It's really chill on this island, especially with the clear skies. It's a really nice atmosphere. Come on, shark. Don't do this to me, man. They move a lot. I 
I've just realized I've never felt more like a pirate. <laughs> Hey, a saw shark! I caught a saw shark and it didn't see me coming. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. I just realized we've come to someone else's island and we're stealing all their bugs and fish. So if we're ever going to be a pirate, today's the day. <laughs> and we're going to keep falling over. What was that? Another shark? No. Nope. Okay, why aren't there any bugs spawning? Ah, oh, there's a bug up here. There we go, finally! I, I thought there was a bit of a bug drought going on. I don't know why they weren't spawning in, but it's these things. Oh no! <laughs> why did I do that? We mustn't ever run next to the trees for that very reason. There we go, what's this? Uh, called a horned atlas. It's like a weight has been lifted. See, I hope you don't mind sometimes these laid back videos. I, I always worry that it's not gonna be enjoyable. I always try and think of something fun to do. And normally there is always quite a lot to do, but sometimes we just need a video like this where we can try and make some bells um, and just enjoy the fishing. Cause it is something that we have kind of neglected a bit. It's the catching of fish and bugs. Um, so I hope you don't mind an episode. Um, I really just want everyone to have a good time. So I always worry a little bit. Um, or a lot actually I worry. Because I don't want people to not enjoy watching basically. Where is the other sharks? Go away fishy. There we go. We only care for sharks today. I caught a hermit crab. Finally, it came out of its shell. <laughs> Trying to scare the fish away, but it's not working. We haven't caught many at all, have we? I thought there was going to be loads of bugs and fish to catch. A little disappointed, I have to say. I may, maybe it's because we've got bad luck. We keep falling over. So two days in a row we've had bad luck. I didn't think that was even possible. I thought you always had good luck after you had bad luck. Okay, finally another beetle. We don't want to mess this up. There we go. Uh, whoa, I caught a golden stag. Better not spend it all in one place. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. We seem to be catching more that we need to donate than anything else. So, so far we've got three that we need to donate. This island seems to be f favoriting um, the hermit crab things. There we go. Edging forward. I'm always so scared of getting too close. I caught a Cyclone Matter Stag. Need some tweezers. Okay, finally more bugs. Here we go. We're getting on a bit of a roll now. Slowly does it. No! Too close! We got too close. Flew, close, flew too close to the banana tree. <laughs> Trying to scare the bugs away so new ones will spawn in. Yeah, these little ones are really annoying. They seem to favor those and the hermit crabs. Yes, two bugs here. I uh, caught an horned atlas. It's like a weight has been lifted. Uh, what's that? Another cyclomatic st uh, smatter stag. We've nearly got full pockets now, so two more. We can go and empty our pockets in the. Um, what do you call it? The storage thing that we have to take back. Caught a horned atlas. 
I just, I kind of like being quiet on here. It's really, it's really relaxing. Scaring the fish again. I think to fully um, optimize this island, we need to cover this entire area with um, maybe weeds. So I was going to say flowers, but I think weeds would be better because they wouldn't attract like butterflies and things. And then cover the entire shoreline with shells to stop the crabs spawning in. And then it really has to force the, um, um, the bugs on the trees to spawn in. I think we're having bad luck. I think it's affecting the, the spawns. I swear you used to get way more than this. Um, I called a horn atlas. It's like a weight has been lifted. Oops. So if anyone has any tips <laughs> of be better ways to farm bugs, please let me know. Because clearly... I'm not doing a very good job. I caught a horned elephant. But I don't have any room for it. Should I swap something out for it? Oh no, we've swapped it already. Okay, we're gonna swap out something. Um, I guess we can let the crab, hermit crab go because I, I think that's worth the, le the least. Let's go to empty our pockets. We don't want to be too late either, I've just remembered, because we want to make sure we get there before the shop shuts. Okay, so... Oh, no, we're going here. Uh, please deposit any items you would like to take home. Um, oh yes, we've got all of our bush starts in there. Uh, pretty much everything. And then these three, we're going to put in the very last one, just so we remember to donate those. Um, so we've got a little bit of time. We'll probably catch a handful more because we haven't had much luck, to be honest. A bit surprised. Okay, so let's see if we can catch a few more. Maybe coming out of the hut again has reset the spawns. Um, so we need a few more giant beetles. I don't think we're going to make much money at this rate. No! I was using the wrong line to gauge where I needed to walk up to. Okay, we've got a second chance. There we go. <laughs> uh, I caught a horned atlas. I think we can agree I'm the worst pirate in the world. But at least we're trying. Okay. So yeah, I apologize if this isn't very exciting. Um, oh, and what is this? We need to donate this one. I wasn't reading it. A horned Hercules. Ooh. Yeah, um, sorry if I, I know I've already said it, but I just like to double check that. Oh, what's that? An eel. I like the videos to have some sort of goal every episode, but the goal this time is just to make money. And we've had, we've had a few episodes like that, uh, but I always worry. Um, but if they do turn out to be not as enjoyable, like the ones where we just fish, for example, I can always do that, like, offline. I caught a ribbon eel. Uh, good for tying it on to presents. <laughs> uh, so we need to donate that as well. Okay, we're having a good... Um... Is that a shark? No. We're finding some good critters to donate. Okay, go away. You're, you're affecting the spawns. Okay, I think we'll catch like maybe a couple more bugs. And then we'll head back and see if we've made any money. <laughs> mm 
Hopefully, Reese will give us lots of money. I called a Cyclomatic uh, Matter Stag. I don't think the stags are worth very much, but they're still better than nothing. Scare this bug away. I'm very surprised not to see many sharks. I thought we were going to see way more sharks. Um, than we have. And we've scared more sharks away than we've caught. <laughs> In true Mori fashion. Okay, we'll aim for one more bug, I think. And then we'll, we'll head back and see how much money we've made. I don't think we'll make enough to pay off the debts. But... It should give us a good head start. Or at the very least, be able to buy us some Gracie furniture tomorrow. I caught a Goliath beetle. Hi, he does look so big. Yeah, I think he looks quite big. Okay, let's go put these in the box and head back to the main island. Okay. Mustn't forget to put them in the box. There we go. And the last one's down here. So we've got five. That's not bad. Five things that we need to donate and the rest we can sell. So that's a pretty successful trip. Uh, I just kind of wish there was more sharks and I wish the bugs would spawn a little more consistently. Do you want to register for a tour to ca or, uh, or catch a boat back to Moriland? We've got to go home. Want to catch the shot before it shuts? Uh, you want to go home already? You be sure. I'm going back, please. Uh, ah, sorry to see you go, lad. Come back sometime. There we go. We made it back. Thank you, Captain. Uh, Till next time, Mori. Oh, and here be your effects. They better all be there. I'm watching you, Cap'n. If that is your real name. I'm the pirate around here. Actually, Cap'n's not a pirate, is he? But still, a sailor. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's... Before we do that, let's just put all of our belongings in our mail to make as much space as possible. And we'll grab all the bugs. We'll worry about the... The hat and the bushes later. And the stuff that we can donate later. We'll just put all the bugs in here. Wow, we caught a lot of... What are these ones? Horned Hercules. Oh, only one that we can't carry. <laughs> That's okay. We'll grab it and sell it another time. Let's go ahead and sell these. So this is how much a trip is worth. Um, but I do think we could optimize the island a little more. Um, I think by stopping the crab spawning and also where is the retail? I don't even know my paths. Um, so yep, stopping the crab spawning and also doing something in, with the middle of the land. And maybe even lose an extra tree or something. Okay, uh, Reese, we need you to do a really good deal for us here. Uh, you want to sell something, do you? What did you bring in? There we go. We're a whole pocket full of beetles. Is this everything then? I'll start crunching the numbers right away. Well then, I could probably part with 122,000 bells for all of it. If that sounds okay with you. That sounds like a mega deal. Um, it's a little... That's about what I thought actually. But I thought maybe a little bit more. But yay! Our chess piece is done. Take home the pawn. Take it home. We can put that in our um, basement with the other chess pieces. Um, and then we just need to find some more. That's one of the biggest sets, really, is because we need to get all the pieces, like, twice, and then customise them all. So it's a really uh, kind of oppressive accolade. Are you buying this carpet, Cody? That one. Or maybe this one. Ah, it's too hard to make a decision. Oh, I guess not. Well, there we go. Sorry if this was a bit laid back of an episode, but we will get back onto some fun things tomorrow. Um, but let me know what you think about fishing and, and making bells and things. And if you have any other tricks, please let me know in the comments. And I hope you had a good time anyway. Thank you, of course, to channel members, and I'll see you next time. Bye!